The woman joining me has a lot of pull. I've seen pictures of her pulling a 39,000 pound transport truck. I understand she's managed a 67,000 pounder. Strong woman competitor, Faith Clark Sims, is going for a Guinness World Record this Saturday, June 20th. But this all represents a more important victory. It is a joy to welcome Faith and congratulations on losing 170 74 pounds that, yeah. in four years. Yes. Four years. Yes. And you say that your victory over obesity is an act of God. Absolutely. Absolutely. It took a lot of soul searching. It, it, you know, lots of people, they yo-yo up and down, up and down, up and down. And I couldn't figure out why do I keep coming back to the beginning and what what is it that keeps me? I started to realize there was a stronghold and I really had to seek the Lord and to show me where did that door open and how do we close it and how do we get past it? So it was amazing. This story is a double tragedy. It's not just about the weight, but I realized after it felt like a couple of days of, of looking into this unusual profession that you have, this, this hobby, and by the way, you run a fitness studio now. Yes. Uh, you are the daughter of two of my heroes, Ace, <laughs> <Mine too. laughs> Ace and Joy Clark, uh, of, of pastors, founders of the Hamilton Dream Center, yes. 10 years making a difference for the poor in that city. And you grew up seeing miracles. I mean, your, your dad was an outlaw biker, your mom a biker chick, and look what God did in their lives. And the story is just full of God at work. Amen. What happened to derail you? Uh, it started actually when I was really young. There was a, a, um, a situation in our family, um, just a small family, like the kids were playing and my sister got an injury and they had to scoop her up and take her to the hospital, go get stitches. And I was left at home with the company and a table full of food. And um, it, God had to take me back to that place when I was, you know, 25, 30 years old to figure out it, that fear. And then I turned to the food and that was the first time I had turned to food for comfort. And I realized in that moment that the enemy had come in and just created a stronghold. And so over time, every time I was stressed or afraid, those kinds of things, it just compounded and compounded and compounded and became a food addiction, um, a very serious um, food addiction. I would eat till I was physically sick and you just, you know you shouldn't, you know you're unhealthy, but it, I really felt powerless for a long time to change. Watching my 600 pound life, and mm. I know you can't watch that program <laughs> because for a number of reasons. Um, one woman said, every pound is attached to an emotion. Yes. It got to yeah. get to the root. Your husband's dream helped. It did, yeah. He woke up one morning sobbing and, and, and told me about a nightmare that he had the house caught on fire and that he physically couldn't wake me and couldn't lift me and that he had the fear that I would, I would just die in that, in that fire. So right. knowing how much it affected those around you negatively, you know, it, it's um, like a ripple effect. And so that was kind of a wake up call too that, you know, I needed to do something. Mm. And boy, did you ever <laughs> do something. Where did you even get an idea to pull heavy things? Well, um, at one point I was bedridden and so I really knew I had to do something. And so when I started to get physically fit and lose weight and started having more energy and realized just how capable I was of doing strong things, then I entered a strong competition to celebrate my 40th birthday and having lost that, you know, initial 100 pounds and feeling fantastic. And that's where we started pulling things and lifting heavy things and carrying, you know, crazy amounts of weight. So, And how much m muscle mass have you put into a body that basically didn't have any. Yeah, I didn't have any at all. I've put on 62 pounds of lean mass and dropped 174 pounds of fat in the last four years. So so tell us what you're doing on Saturday. This Saturday, uh, out at the Hamil the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum, it, they have an event called Sky Fest. And during that event, I will be um, setting a new world record for the heaviest vehicle pulled for 100 feet. In the women's category, I'll be pulling um, a warplane, a 20,000 pound warplane strapped to my back and just getting it done so wow set a new record how, how how long does it take to actually move it and how far do you have to move it i have to move it 100 feet so um it's probably going to take maybe a minute minute and a half it's a little more difficult than the trucks so it takes a little bit more work Unbelievable. <laughs> now this is not just a spectacle this is going to benefit the hamilton dream yes. center in in at least a couple of ways yes i wanted to do 
I've always wanted to be, it was another dream of mine to be in the Guinness Book. And as a kid, you flip through and try to figure out what can I, what record can I break? I never imagined it would be this one, but <laughs> I wanted to make it matter. I wanted, I didn't want to just get a record for the sake of, you know, finding some fame in a book or I wanted to do something to help the people in our city. And my parents have always been very committed to helping uh, people in need. And I've grown up knowing that, you know, that was God's purpose for us was to be his hands and feet. And so I wanted I wanted this event to matter. And so it's become a fundraiser for the Dream Center. People can donate, they can bring non-perishable food items and help us fill the shelves and, and continue to feed families. This is terrific. I, I it was moving to read that you identify with people who feel trapped in poverty because you for so long were trapped yes. in a body that was yeah. winning, taking yeah. you in a wrong direction. It's so poignant to have you here today. We're celebrating weight loss. Yes, We're celebrating that. people choosing change. It's exciting. And uh, can't wait to see, uh, we want to see footage yes, of uh, the events on Saturday. Just to remind people in the area, uh, this is on Airport Road. It's right beside the Hamilton yes. Airport. Um, Mount Hope is actually the address, yes. right, yes. for the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. And if you're going, be sure to take a donation of food, non-perishable food, and uh, hopefully financial support for a yes. great work. Mom and dad are here. Boy, do we ever need to get them back here for a visit. Well, this has made my day. I hope it's made yours.